Hey, Christine. What was that you were saying yesterday about the effects that the Eucharist has on us? We have his heart literally, physically beating within our own body so that we can go from the Mass and see the world, see the Church, see the truth through his eyes. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. I'm just repeating what I heard the shadow priest say. Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Monday, January 19th, 2015. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. The U.S. Supreme Court announced Friday it will rule on so-called gay marriage this term. After a federal appeals court went against the grain and upheld gay marriage bans in four states, the high court has decided to hear the cases on appeal. Oral arguments will be given longer time than usual, with questions focusing on whether the 14th Amendment requires states to allow gay marriage, or whether it demands legal recognition of gay marriages performed in other states. Pope Francis is including homosexuality and contraception among the threats to marriage and society. Francis, addressing more than a thousand families in the Philippines Friday, stated, quote, the family is also threatened by growing efforts on the part of some to redefine the very institution of marriage by a lack of openness to life. A Vatican spokesman confirmed the Pope was referring in part to so-called gay marriage. The Holy Father is also praising Blessed Pope Paul VI for having the strength to defend openness to life when many were concerned about population growth. Ireland's Minister of Health has come out as gay. His announcement Sunday comes just months before Ireland's referendum on so-called gay marriage, a measure he hopes will pass. He claims his lifestyle will not affect future policy decisions, including whether to lift the ban on blood donations from homosexuals. Ironically, he began the interview claiming he was a very private person before proceeding to tell thousands of listeners of his intimate sexual preferences, a trend that seems increasingly in vogue among public figures. Blatant liturgical abuse took place Sunday at the Pope's Mass in the Philippines' capital. Footage of the sacrilege was captured on video. This violates the general instruction of the Roman Missal, which states, the faithful are not permitted to take the consecrated bread or the sacred chalice by themselves, and still less to hand them from one to another. The Pope is generally not in charge of the liturgy in these situations. With a crowd of more than six million, the Mass was the largest papal event in history and the fifth largest gathering in human history. A federal judge is dismissing a porn shop's case against a Catholic group. Adult World sued the Catholic group King's Men in 2011 for trespassing, sprinkling holy water, and bearing miraculous medals on their property. But they dropped the suit last week. The King's Men sponsors the Porn No More Tour, where they pray outside porn shops and give information about healing from porn addiction. Over the last 10 years, they've helped to close down 11 porn shops. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about the loss of supernatural faith among clergy. Thanks for tuning in. Please share churchmilitant.tv news with your friends. See us on Facebook and Twitter, and may God bless you.